tough game today, but how would you compare today's effort to yesterday's effort? Uh, I don't think it compares. It, it wasn't – yesterday we did a lot of really good things for 40 minutes. Tonight it was hard to find us doing a lot of really good things. And that's – a lot of it has to do with Minnesota State. They're a really good team. Uh, and we were, we were in the game, but then once they scored, we weren't able to, we weren't able to answer. And it, it, it's unfortunate, but it, yesterday was a much better effort. Do you feel like the offense today, you know, you shut off the first time of the season, was it more, maybe a little more aggressive to where they were taking bad shots, or was it more? Where they were we didn't get enough attempts. We, we, we were not in the offensive zone enough. Uh, yesterday we were, we were on it. We were dictating the terms of play uh, at times, and tonight we weren't. And um, we were chasing Minnesota State, and we, just, we didn't have a lot of, uh, a lot of real good opportunities. Uh, there wasn't a bunch of shots both ways, you know, but we just didn't have enough. Yeah, I got my last question would be about oh, Christian Sober today. Do you feel like the five goals were kind of not yeah, I mean, his play today? No, I mean, we, you know, the first goal, the one timer, it's a tough, I mean, not many people are going to save that. A couple plays around the net where we, we, we just, we just didn't defend as hard. We didn't, we didn't forecheck as hard. We didn't win races as well. Uh, we just didn't play as well tonight. So it, it has not, Christian wasn't Christian's fault. Were you guys able to stay within your game plan tonight, or did Minnesota State that what they were able to do early on kind of? Take I mean, they started it? well. Um, they, they they played. I don't know how well they played in, in their terms, but they 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 were hard to play against tonight, and, and they're hard to play against most nights. It's rare that you find them, and they're not hard to play against. Um, we just we didn't have the same. We didn't, it didn't have the same feel on the bench. It didn't have the same feel how we were playing. Even even at zero zero, we weren't. It wasn't like, oh, we're right there. We're right there. We were trying to trying to get our group going and trying to push and, and get some energy. Uh, we were. We seemed like we were just chasing it all night. You took early penalties in the first and second periods. I think like within the first minute and a half in each. Um, you feel like those set you back at all? One hundred percent. Doesn't help at all doesn't help us one bit. We're, we're, we come in, we rest, we're in a game. Uh, obviously, at the start of the game, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. start of the second period, it's 0-0. You know, zero, zero. We're in a better spot tonight after one than we were last night. And you take a penalty early, and now you got to kill. And they're, they're good. They're, I mean, they're a good team. And so you cannot shoot yourself in the foot against good teams. And, and those penalties to start the periods are, are tough. Um, you got Evan back in the, in the fold tonight. That added a little bit of depth. Um, we talked earlier in the week about the third and fourth liners performing. Do you feel like they performed up to the standards this weekend? It's hard to say right now, right after the game. You know, we'll get a chance to watch it and, and look at some things. Last night, you know, we were talking after the game, even though we were frustrated that we lost, like, who do you take out? If Evan's coming back in, who do you take out? And it was hard to pick a person to take out because we had a lot of guys play well. I think you could flip that tonight and say, who played well? There's a, it's not as long of a list as it was last night. Mm -hmm. uh, you always talk about chances and the way that you're able to afford them for yourself. Late in the game, do you feel like you got what you needed? No, the end? no, we didn't. We we wanted to push, but but then again, we would shoot ourselves in the foot with a penalty here, or there, and and uh, you know the 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 start. You know, Sam Craig's had a puck on a stick the very first shift of the third, and if that gets in there, and you get but but again, we weren't. There wasn't a bunch of sustained chances, and, and uh, especially in the third, when we when we really needed to push, we just we never gave ourselves a chance. I know this is a league game, hard environment to play. You know, as far as their team is to play against, but I mean, just tell me about the experience this gives the boys in the locker room playing the number one team in the country, doing this in a division setting. Yeah, I mean, last night was a really good college hockey game, really good game. Both teams played really hard, and it was it was a competitive game against in our terms, against a really good team. Tonight, it, it was a good game for a while, but it wasn't as competitive. And we're not, we're not looking for moral victories. Uh, we, we played against the number one team in the country and the team that's in first place in our league, and we weren't able to win. We, we had opportunity to win last night. We, we, we put ourselves in a position to win. And you guys know, we, we, talk about, we don't talk about winning every game. We, we try to win. We, we want to do the right things and, and work on 
focus on our process and what we can do to give ourselves to give ourselves a chance to win. Last night it was frustrating because we did our did what we want to do and we played to our identity and we didn't win. So that was frustrating, but not how we played. Tonight it's frustrating because we didn't we didn't get back to that. And they're they're really good and and uh, you know. But but last night if if our guys take anything away from this that when when we're when we're right and we're going and we're you know not taking a bunch of penalties and we can get the whole group involved and we're doing it our way, we're, we can be a handful. How do you put this weekend behind you, Coach? Everything's still right there for you. Yeah, I mean, it was going to be a difficult weekend either way, whether you win two or you lose two. And uh, so now we, we know we're going to go up to Houghton next week, and it's going to be very difficult there as well. They're, they're chasing Minnesota State. Um, they're, they're playing really well. They're the number seventh-ranked team in the country. or they're, they're, they're right there. So it's going to be another two – Really difficult games in a in a hostile environment. It's Winter Carnival up there. It'll be sold out. It'll be it'll be a great atmosphere, and we're going to need to be ready to go because Tech's doing a really good job this year. What was the message you question after a second period? Six shots, three goals. Obviously, a little short on goaltender right now. Yeah, it's it's tough on it's tough on Christian. Um, we we didn't. It wasn't like they had 20 shots in the second. You know, um, it was just you know the first goal is a one timer. The next goal. You know, the, the, there was one play around the net that just kind of gets jammed in, and there we just we, we didn't we didn't do enough, and it seemed like when we made a mistake or or an error or weren't in the right place, Minnesota State took advantage of, which they do, they they, they will do that. Um, it wasn't there was no at least from my mind, we haven't even talked about it as a staff. I wasn't thinking at all about getting Christian out of there because he was it was his fault generate any offense really uh, uh, on, on the power play either. It seemed like Minnesota State almost attacked your power play. Didn't yeah, they, they were, they were, there's an old adage, um, there's all kinds of formations you can use and all kinds of sets you can use and all kinds of breakouts you can use, but if the penalty kill outworks the power play, then you're in trouble. And uh, I thought that was the case, just again, without watching it on video, their penalty killers outworked our power play, and that can happen because you, you, you take your foot off the gas a little bit and you feel like you've got an extra guy and you're going to make all these plays, but if you don't work, you're in trouble. One more, Coach. You talked about environment, obviously, with Brendan Ferry coming back, playing in front of you know, the hometown fans. He had a lot of support here. I mean, that thing make things a little bit difficult that obviously drew some No, I mean, it's good for him. He, he, he's a good player. He, he, he had a good weekend. He's a, he's a good player on a really good team. And, and um, the fact that the, the Toledo community came to support him and St. Francis team, like, that's good for Brendan, good for him. He, he, uh, it, it, it adds to it. It's, it's a positive. You have a weekend like this, Coach, too, and you have Morrow and Wells back in the building again. Do you take advantage of that? I mean, we it... try to. I mean, uh, again, there people are pulling them a lot of different directions. Yeah, they yeah. came by the rink today, and and uh, we're we're really proud of them. Uh, it's a, it's a it's a really you guys know there's a bunch of really cool history involved in this program, and and um, it's not as recent as we want it to be, and and we hope to have in terms of the the special stuff, but. They're, they're, you know, they were really, 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 really good players here and part of really, really, really good teams at Bowling Green. They're proud BGSU Falcon alums. And then to, to be able to honor them uh, with the bobblehead night tonight during the Olympics and, and have them both be, be able to be here. I mean, it's for hockey fans and for Americans, it's, it's in my mind, the greatest sports moment in our country's history. And to have two Bowling Green players be a part of that is really cool. And for us to, for our guys to, to see that and, and have them be back here is, is, it's awesome.